All right, now that we have a fully working core, let's finish the lock up and something useful. Um, where the door was, I've uh, tapped off of it and I'm extending a line over here. I have built a panel of buttons with buttons from a Super Nintendo controller. I'm missing a few because I don't have enough buttons here. I could extend it a little further out, but it doesn't matter for this demonstration. Uh, for wiring simplicity, I have just made it all of the bottom buttons that you can see coming out here. Everything else I have connected to itself and I'm sending over to the reset line, which I am tapping in down here. This is uh, needed because the furthest button is just a little bit too far to make it all the way. And again, this is just a uh, array of buttons. You can make this a little more compact if you use a bunch of diodes, but the delay will be a lot longer. All right, uh, what I've done here is pretty much like what we've done back here where each uh, toggle will unlock the next one. Uh, I'm tapping the output up here, running down, inverting it. This uh, diode would normally be on, which would prevent this uh, toggle from toggling. I have a button over here, which actually toggles that. So it comes down here, comes into the input, and it will toggle and activate this line right here, which will power the door to open it. I have a plate uh, here, which once you walk through will work to reset the line, and if you ever get trapped inside, will always open the door because it's right in front of it. Uh, it comes down here, I use another diode to throw through to this other side here, and then it taps into the reset line for everything else. Uh, the combination has already been entered, so I will press the final enter button and the door opens. The door will stay open indefinitely until either that pressure plate is stepped on or someone pushes a wrong button of the combination.
or actually any button now that it's been entered. Once I walk through, the whole thing resets and the door closes. I can't get in by just pushing the button. I'll need to come over here and re-enter in the combination. Yeah, you can push the enter button all you want once it's open. But pushing a, wait, that is, well, pushing any button that would cause a reset will close the door. So that's pretty much it. This lock can be extended uh, pretty much as much as you want. Uh, you're eventually going to need repeaters to allow the reset line to work. Uh, this is probably about as big as you can do without having to do that. Um, the input can be technically anything you want, as long as it uh, uh, switches won't work very well, but pressure plates will work fine. I may end up building a version of this that is more tall than wide. Uh, it'll be quite a different build, uh, probably using a different style of toggle, but we'll see.